podcast uh, with us. We are professionals, professional podcasters. Never screw up the intro. Is it is it professional? Class what defines a professional? Is it length of time? There's doing a, I think thing? there's a legal definition. Uh, oh no, there's a legal definition for expert. I don't know what defines professional. It, is it? A, is you it get a paid for it. I was going to say you get paid for it, but but we don't get paid for this. All right. That doesn't seem right. And there's other things that you could. Are there things that you could be? I don't know. If there, you get there's paid a lot for of... it, you're professional. It doesn't make it right, but that's just how it works. <laughs> that's fair, I guess. Okay, we are professionals, uh, and it's a podcast with us, and we're not going to belabor that point uh, anymore, even though we're not actually professional podcasters because we don't get paid for being podcasters. But if you paid us, then we would be professionals, I guess, sort of. Um... I feel like I'm paid in satisfaction. Sure. How about we're, we're professionals who podcast? There, that's a thing. I, it, is anybody really a professional podcaster? I'm thinking about podcasts and most of the money- Joe Rogan. Goes- so it's not exactly like a banner industry, is it? Well, I mean, like, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I canceled my Spotify uh, subscription last week. Did you? That's sad. Yeah. I get it. It kind of sucks, but- Anyway, it's, I mean, uh, I can only vote with my dollars, right? That's that's the way capitalism works. That's what I've been told for years. So, that's Gary, binary Gary. I'm Chris, Jazz Sequence, and this is Allison, Allison Plus, and we're a podcast, and we do this thing every way. We're, we're recording on a different day, and it's really weird, and I think it's throwing. I don't a whole think it's rhythm. no. I don't think it feels any weirder than <laughs> it, ever right now. I think it feels fine. Feels very it's weird. weird because now I'm like the weekend, and now I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah a long week ahead of me (laughs) yep yep gary was going to show us a thing though which i'm sure will translate very well to uh audio our audio listeners um so my parents just moved and we saw them this past weekend and uh, my mom was like oh i was unpacking boxes and here is a card that your grandmother wrote when you were born i'm like like i'd never seen this before like holy shit uh, I will, uh, I'll take a photo and post it, uh, just so y'all can. Uh, I feel like the handwriting of grandparents is just out of this world. I mean, she, she like, she just nonchalantly hands it to me in the living room and I'm like, I, like, I, this need, this is a thing. Like I need like, so I, I like went in like sort of hid in another room and read it. Like I needed like a, it was like this, like, uh, I'll post it. I'll post it. It was just, it was lovely. Um, and uh, I need it, but I need like a sanctuary to do it. You know, like I needed a spot where I could be like in my head, but included, I didn't see this at first. Um, a $20 uh, gift card for Olive Garden. No, it was like, it's my, I don't know if your child is born today and then uh, no, it goes, so I'll post a picture of that too. Or I guess I could just read it. Cause it's like 50 words. So it's kind of like a horoscope, but not. I think so. I, but I, it, yeah, it's not labeled as such, but I think so. If your child's born today, he or she will be one of those persons with a particular charm that most everyone likes. Eh. There's much artistry in this nature, and this should be accented in the educational curriculum. Don't neglect ethical training. The stars impel, they do not compel. What you make of your life is largely up to you. I don't know what to make of that, but it's fantastic that it's there. And I spend more time thinking about it. I like the phrasing particular charm. <laughs> A yeah. They've got a charm. particular charm about them. They had a way with words back in the eighties, didn't they? I mean, <laughs> as 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 most uh, horoscope are horoscopes are written, that uh, can be applied to basically anybody. They have a particular charm. Um. I yeah, I mean, it was me. just a. It was a lovely thing for her to find. I, they've moved. <clears throat> I, I, you know what? I can't count right now. It's, it's too many. Let me see. At least three times, no, four times in Jacksonville. And I, I mean, they like since Ron and I have been together, they've moved, I think, seven or eight times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like they don't stay anywhere long. So this, this thing, I mean, and I guess probably since I was born, they probably moved 15 times. Never like, like leaving the city, like just to a different house and like close by. But, um, 
but yeah, so this thing has moved around all that time. And then she was like, oh, I was unpacking a box and I found this and I thought you might want it. How many times have you not unpacked that box when you've moved? I mean, I'm so thrilled to have it, but also like, how weird. Is this and I'm also just like wondering like, why is this the time that that box was opened and this was this thing was found? Um, it, was, uh, it was destiny. What a wonderfully precious thing. It made me, made me very happy. Very happy to exist. Which is what we do on this show. We exist. We exist. Uh, often we discuss a topic. Sometimes we know what it's about. Did you already do this? I didn't do Did that I? part. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes we know what it's about. Often we don't. Allison reads the topic. Chris and I. Drum As per usual, in the 10 minutes leading up to the podcast, I panicked and went through 10 different topics before choosing one. Um, so that's where my brain is. <laughs> you, you have a backlog of 10 different topics? Well, I have a list, but I think I'm just going to have to to call bankruptcy on the list because I'm never happy with any of them. Um, so I- It's okay though, like that's cool. Like here's 10 topics we're not gonna do, boom, deleted. Or maybe you should keep them so you know you're not gonna do them. For posterity, yeah. Them. So I know yeah. that I don't wanna do them. Um, it, it's stuff that seemed cool at the time. And then when I relook it up, I'm like, no one needs to even know what this means. Why, <laughs> why? <laughs> we, are, we are at episode one Ooh, one 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 zero which means our next episode will be episode wait one 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 so that's that'll be seven ones next time that when we have the big giveaway <laughs> i have to convert this what is that what is that to i mean i probably do it like mathematically but i'm just going to find a binary converter online I'm sorry. You said one 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 zero. Yes. I can't believe you. Six ones, ones zero. six like... ones, and a zero. It was the same number. <laughs> so Wait, you were what? telling me there were six ones, <laughs> then a zero. Well, no, that's that's one hundred and twenty-six. Is that right? Did we already pass hundred? Probably. Yeah, because when at some it? point we talked about that. Did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no. Well, wait. Maybe we're doing it wrong. But we have 120 published items. Um. So either are there any that? Okay. Either I did my binary wrong somewhere along the way and we're six ahead, or you did your calculation wrong and we're it's 120. I mean, I think they were over 100. I actually just dropped it from Google and did the conversion. I didn't do it myself. Well, then I probably screwed it up somewhere along the way, and I, but I only screwed it up by six, which I, I, would, I would say is a pretty good. I feel like we could go through though and find the missing ones and then just renumber them going like, oh, this one, we're actually jumping back to one, one, zero, one, one. No, one. I mean, Gary, if you're up for it and you've got some time on your hands, yeah. you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know that I'm not going to do it manually. I'm going to look at the titles and figure out how I can extract the That's binary still and then more... pass it through and figure out what digits are missing. That is still uh, And I will do it. Effort. In decimal, and then I will be like, well, here are the, the numbers that are missing. Now we need to figure out what the binary representation of those numbers is. Um, yeah. Yeah, Again, go for it. If you have that time, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> it would be I'm, so much faster to do it I'm, by hand, wouldn't it? I'm happy to I'm happy to backfill if we need to backfill. <laughs> I don't think we do. I think we just go forward. Go yeah, forth. I, I think we just go forward. If if we some more professionals, I I, I, I wish that. If we're if we're supposed to be at 126 and we're at 120, I call that a win because we've done over 100 episodes and only gotten six off in in like like drift. Were there six that we pulled because we were not happy with the quality? We have never pulled yeah, let's, a let's, single let's, podcast. Let's start the myth that that there are six secret podcasts that we yeah. pulled due to audience pro protests. Yes. Yeah. They, they didn't they didn't make it past the editorial board. Yeah. What is a hundred? What would the binary? editorial board be? Hmm? I guess it doesn't matter because if we did the binary wrong and then looking it up by binary it wouldn't matter. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think we need to just let it go. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. We've we've done a lot. Uh, one one zero zero one zero zero. No, no, that was no. One one zero zero one zero zero is one hundred. One one zero zero one zero zero. 
I thought we were letting it go. <laughs> yeah, but just Gary rolls can't. off the tongue. One, one. No. Okay. Not a Disney next, princess. Next page. I did not let it go. Uh, one, one, Can you zero, not just search for that? One, one, zero, zero. I, I, I could have searched for it. One, one, zero, zero. What? One, zero, zero. One, zero, zero. One, one, zero, zero. One, zero, zero was Aqualine. This is a really compelling content right now. <laughs> Dear listener, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Here at Binary Jazz, you know, let, we really break, only talk about binary. <laughs> let's break everyone's brains a little bit and realize that the format we're listening this into is just a string of ones and zeros anyway. And this representation we are seeing and discussing with each other is just a string of ones and zeros anyway. We're nothing more than on and off bits. I am personally well, that's more crushing. than on and off bits. I'm not. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to claim this space for myself. I am organic material. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you can convince yourself of that. <laughs> so, uh, topic. The topic we have today is pharmacopoeia. So, is it? I'm sorry. I mean, is this just like a, like. This Obviously. is just a horn full of like meats, like dicey or, spears or and hamburgers, you do, and or you could pronounce it pharmacopoeia, I guess as well. No, but. no, pharmacopoeia is is that store. It's it's like it's like Bevmo except for drugs. <laughs> oh, it's like wait, is it? I, here's a, Let's start with the dumb question. The warehouse store of just pH? medications. It's P-H, P-H-A-R-M-A-C-O-P-O-E-A-E-I-A. E-I-A. Yeah, okay. So I was wrong. I thought pharmacopoeia literally was a like farm. It. Yeah, a cornucopia. Chick-fil-A sandwich and a burger. And, yeah. you, you know, yeah. on, that topic, on that topic, we do have a local chain of restaurants uh, called Chuckarama that would- Oh, wow. Have... That's an unfortunate choice. Why would you, why would you go with that? God, that would probably to be by definition your pharmacopoeia. Mm. There's a chain here called Farm Boy, but it's not also too uncomfortable. Too is it is it is it just all uh, Princess Bride references all day long? <laughs> I wish they actually almost always have this really great vegetarian salad bar that also has like hot food that's vegetarian. So like fake. Oh sweet and sour chicken and um weird I'm noodle down. dishes and let's it's actually like it's if we ever go east it's my favorite place to stop on a on a road trip but i'm down when when charlotte says noodles she substitutes the d substitutes the d for an n and says noodles which i love mm-hmm. just a, an aside for you to and what did she call dolly parton again dolly partner miss miss dolly partner <laughs> miss dolly partner yeah yeah that's my friend miss dolly partner and i'm like Oh, I bet she is actually <laughs> like she met, she'd be like, hey, hi, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Ph- pharmacopoeia is is one of those How is she not a saint? How has she not been sainted? Saint Saint Dolly? I think you well, have to be Catholic. Yeah. A, <laughs> That's some bullshit. A, That's an oversight right there, in my opinion. A, you need to be Catholic. And B, you need yeah. to perform three miracles that have been witnessed by other people that can sort of verify. Have, has not all of humanity witnessed her miracles? It's ridiculous. Like, well, I mean, I will always love you, Jolene, and the Moderna vaccine. Those are your three miracles. <laughs> I, I, I mean, they and, have to be honestly, considered mi- the miracles the by the Pope, I believe, don't they? <laughs> the well, Pope then, is the only one that's not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving him a nasty letter after this. <laughs> Let me put some time on my calendar. Tweet at the Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Who's on? Who's on Twitter? Who's on Twitter? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I somehow getting, missed getting that in my times. normal hubbub of, of Twitter. Yeah, I mean, in, in my daily, my daily Catholic, uh, Catholic, C- Catholic Twitter Catholic. searches. I don't. Uh, I don't know how often he tweets or whoever tweets on his behalf tweets, but it's not. It's certainly not daily. I just feel like I run into Pontifex. I don't know, once a week maybe. Maybe it's on Sundays. That would be really papal. Uh, so Pharmacopia is, is a warehouse store that is just wall-to-wall medications at discount prices. Mm. Just It's just I, like I, BevMo for drugs. It's a horn of plenty of meats. Horn I'm still not coming of off of that, even though it's not spelled like I, yeah. 
how could it not be with us being the people that are talking about it? <laughs> Uh, easy. Could be anything else? Easy. I because <laughs> <You're like>, it's not because <laughs> it's not. <laughs> also, it's not farm related. There's no You're farm. You're not convince me of that. There's no farm. Yeah, it's just it's a pharma. clever spelling. It's pharma, yeah. which is a totally yeah, different thing. This is a new uh, ETF traded. Pharmacopia. Holds... Yeah, it just holds pharmaceuticals. Uh, that under the symbol P H A R. I'm sure there already is. I'm sure there already is a P H A R. Is that too many letters? Isn't there a limit on? I know four is the limit. Yeah, so so it would be F. No. P H A R is P H A R is. I can count letters. Stock price is twelve eighty five. What do they do? A specialty pharmaceutical company develops products for treatments of rare diseases and unmet medical needs. I'm bored with this already. Garrett is going to buy stocks while we are recording the podcast. No, he's secretly Googling it. the answer. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to, I'll, you want me a screen share as I log into um, Robin Hood? And I don't want to yes, be important. Please, yeah. please expose your personal finance information to us and everybody watching on YouTube. Who's watching on YouTube? Uh, probably one person. Yeah, there's, there's we usually get at least a couple views on YouTube. They might just be me, but probably not. Oh, they're um, they're really new. They just started December of 2020. They opened at 1670, and they've pretty much dropped since then. I don't actually think I want this. Wouldn't it be weird if that was my long con and that was just like something that I had done in December? <laughs> <laughs> be a hell of a play. I was honestly. like, by the way, <laughs> something I'm into recently. <laughs> This is launching publicly traded companies. <laughs> uh, I can't um, people underestimate me. <laughs> yeah. The fact I, that... Go ahead. I want to talk about ETFs for a moment. Go for it. Can I do that? Or should we just Would you on? like to explain to our dear listener what ETFs are? Our dear listener. Oh, yeah. ETFs are like mutual funds. A mutual fund is a collection of stocks that are mutual funds are, are managed, right? So somebody says, oh, I'm going to buy some of this and some of this, but you buy the mutual fund and this fund manager handles it for you. you. Take a percentage of the earnings in exchange for theoretically better growth than just investing in like an index fund, which is computer controlled version of the same. Uh, an ETF is like a model that is not so involved in humans. And so the fees are less. So you, you can like buy into like a tech ETF and you would grab like a bunch of tech stocks and it would ordinarily be balanced based on market cap and that kind of stuff. But I was positing that there was like a pharmaceutical ETF that whatever. Um, but there are like all sorts of like, uh, oh, look it, I've got a tornado warning. <laughs> cool. Real time um, Southern living. <laughs> geez. Um, Oh, I, what I was going to say is that there are like, there are investment strategies that people employ that like are just like long-term investors. And I'm really surprised that there aren't ETFs that employ the same idea. And I'm wondering if there are regulations in place that prevent that. Never mind. This was way more boring than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, Chris. I even got bored asking the question halfway through. I was just going to say about pharmacopoeia. That's a much better. That uh, because there is an E in it, C O P E I A. Yeah. It's obviously Greek. I mean, all words are. Well, kind of that's Greek. certainly helpful, isn't it? <laughs> but, but this is more Greek than most because if it was just pharmacopoeia, like you know the the Bevmo for drugs, uh, it would definitely drop the E. Yeah. Well, let me throw a wrench into your plan because You're wrong. There, are, <laughs> there are three <laughs> different spellings. I just chose one and went with it. <laughs> So, so dropping the E would be technically a correct spelling then? Dropping the O, dropping the I, these are all options. <laughs> Wait, dropping the O? Pharma, so, pharmacopia? Yep. Oh yeah, pharm, pharm, yes. Wait, pharmacopia, pharm, now I'm saying it wrong. Oh my God, what is wrong with my brain? Pharmacopia, <laughs> so that would be pharmacopia. How is I mean, that a word? <laughs> per, per chance, I don't know. <laughs> I 
may I be forgiven for my spelling sins that I've brought to the table today? I don't know. Uh, now that that just, I'm just I'm questioning reality at this point. And it's like I before E win win. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Except Can after ex for your hurricane warning, it's just no. It's a tornado warning. Did I say hurricane warning? No, it's a tornado. Okay. Uh, no, I was reading like where it is though, and I mean it like there <laughs> is where the warning is. So I'll just keep an ear out. Whatever. There, like like right out there. Yeah, I know. I was just I mean, like, like you, you kind of point. I, it no, I can't see it. I can't see it. I mean, but but like the the, the like. Well, well. So whenever they put these things in, like it's always like a huge swath they put the the warning in in this area. So it's like from like, like we're probably like forty minutes from South Carolina, but from like South Carolina on up to maybe thirty minutes north of us, like it's this huge range. And so you always have to look and see, like, well, what's the area that really they expect to be affected? And they're like, you know, Southwest Cabarrus County. I'm like, oh, that's where I am. Like I should read more. And then they start like listing areas, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. So like roughly, roughly here ish i mean but it's a big ish i mean it could be it could put down and still be five miles from here so i'll just whatever can you buy insurance like you can for earthquakes probably not at the moment well, <laughs> like, like, um, today like or right, right now no, generally yeah we don't well so this area doesn't really have a lot of like extreme weather so yeah i mean like i i actually don't know if my homeowners would cover something like that i would assume so i mean because there's just not it's not like like in Florida, you have to buy specific flood insurance. Here, there's not like extra riders for stuff. Yeah. It's just like, well, not much is going to happen. Although I do need to have some trees cut. Maybe I should have done that before today. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's not like it's not. It's like it's so still. If it happens right in the next like uh, twenty minutes, if it if it manages oh. to to come to to where Gary, for. yeah, it'll be it'll be live streamed i guess not live streamed but it'll be streamed on the internet and uh, if it does send I'm gonna, your donation the laptop to and head down jazz. to the basement oh no i actually don't know where i should go you basement. should probably know <laughs> yeah this does seem like an important thing in florida it was very simple because always like the most interior bathroom basement. wouldn't you go to like a basement yeah or basement something? for tornadoes okay but like I mean, what if the whole thing collapses on you that seems bad I've then never you're trapped, then you're trapped in the basement, but you're alive in the basement as opposed to being dead in the house that got lifted off the ground and spun around. Oh, right. Tornado. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it's brick, so it would have to be a pretty big deal to lift the house. Yeah. Well, if it if happened, it's brick, they do use the language, they do use the language of um, mobile homes could be flipped. Falling trees can cause death or serious injury and major damage to houses. Move to a, oh, move to a basement or an interior room in the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Go. I guess I should have finished reading. Well, hey, yeah. props to the National Weather Service for being on top of things like that. More so than Gary is. The worst, <laughs> yeah. If it's brick, then probably what would happen? You probably your house probably wouldn't lift up like like the like the house in uh, Wizard of Oz. Uh, it would probably be more likely that like the roof gets torn off or uh, like a tree smashes into your house somewhere, which is, you know, fun. I, I have a lot of trees. A pharmacopic dose of optimism from Chris. No, I don't know. Oh, I mean, <laughs> as far as things go. That would be pharmacopic. Yeah. <laughs> grab the laptop. I'll grab my card and the hills or whatever. Yeah. It definitely yeah. run to the hills during a tornado. <laughs> the highest point is definitely where you should be. Well, I'm not going down the hill. It's where the poison ivy is. You know, I used to think Florida was like a really deadly place. Everything could kill you. That's Australia. So like, there's, there's pretty yeah. much, there's pretty uh, much something that'll kill you everywhere. You just you have to. Yeah, pick it turns your out that's the case. Yeah. Like, like Utah, it's hot, but we don't have. Uh, Utah, it's Mormons. They don't kill you. They will not kill you, uh, generally. Um, sacrifice is not a thing? No. Any longer? No. Mormon church? No. No. They might marry you off to their daughters, but no. Um, so, uh, we, don't get, we don't get hurricanes. We don't get, you know. All of them? <laughs> <laughs> they might marry all of their daughters off to you, actually. Um, 
uh, we don't get, you know, tsunamis or anything. Um, and we don't frequently get earthquakes. But what we've learned in the last year is that there's a really big uh, fault uh, running basically through the middle of, of Utah that is extremely bad. Uh, so that if we do get an earthquake, it will be the one that kills everyone. So, you know, we don't get them often, but when we do, it's going to kill everyone. There's an update. No insurance needed then is what I'm hearing. Exactly. Yeah, no, your house is just going to collapse and it's going to, everything is made out of brick. It's just going to fall down like, like, you know, Lego bricks. Oh, it expires in like 13 minutes. So, and so when it hits uh, your house, you will be still be recording. Uh, yeah, we will be in yep. 13 minutes. We can have a live, live update. It's just, the entire rest of the show is just going to be Gary checking on the updates of the tornado. <laughs> I just haven't been here long enough for weird weather to like get the feel of it. In Florida, like I could be like, oh, this warning's in place. Like I look at the sky and be like, nah, we're good. Did you hear that? Nope. Mm -mm. It sounds like maybe rain, perhaps. I Let hear a Robin laptop fan. That's what I hear. <laughs> it's just thunder. It's just thunder. <laughs> professional let's roll professional <laughs> professional uh pharmacopoeia what's the, um, what's the advice you've received most recently that you've actually put into use um Have you received any advice recently? Maybe we should. Oh start gosh, there. yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't realize like how much dead air there was. So I was thinking of the advice <laughs> I received recently. My bad. Um, I don't know. I think I, need, I apparently I need some time to think on this. Yeah, I think yeah. seriously. I think probably not <laughs> very much, <laughs> given that neither of us can remember uh, advice that we've received happen. recently that we've acted on. All right, all right. Now it expires at 7 p.m. Well, that's quite a difference between 13 minutes and 7 p.m. <laughs> I it looks like they just like updated it. Oh. Yeah, like they rolled that one to like the closest time they could expire it and then just extended it. So three cheers for the National Weather Service being vague. Um it would be um I guess I uh, guess I, I would say, uh, y'all, uh, encouraging me to just apply to things is probably the most recent advice that I've acted on. I was going to say like, um, something along the lines: if you make something commercial, like now you, like now you have, now you own it and have to continue it. I was discussing an idea with a friend and it's like maybe there's a way to like you know commercialize this and the decision was like no that would take the fun out of it don't commercialize things that's that's my advice don't commercialize things I, I mean that's like the summary of it and i agree what were you considering commercializing so it it's like a what's that is it a secret no, not at all. No, no, no he's not no, going to commercialize not. it. So it's not a secret. <laughs> Even if we were, I mean, it wouldn't really matter. Like we, we're working on an album and like the idea was like, oh, are we actually going to like go to like, try and like go to and sell this? And if so, like, what do people want to listen to? And that was a conversation that would people mm. want to listen to like, who cares? Screw those people. Like, whatever. Like, yeah. Make no. Music. So like, that was the decision. What's that? Let them come to you. <laughs> or not. Who cares? Like the like the the act of recording is the thing, yeah, so like it it like it, like to that end like maybe we publish it, maybe we don't. It doesn't matter. Like the the act of doing is the is the value, and so that's it. Like we've already extracted value from it, which also is such a transactional way to frame it. And I didn't mean to do that because that wasn't it. Like the the inherent value in the thing is doing it. We didn't extract the value; it was there, and we enjoyed it and. Whatever, you know, whatever happens from there on out, it's fine uh, or something. 
Yeah, that's sort of how I've, I've, that's how I feel about, or that's what I say to myself when I uh, am going down the rabbit hole of I'm not producing enough valuable D and D content that people could purchase. It's like, well, but I am I getting value out of it, and are my players getting value out of it, and do I really want to like just get that outside uh, support? like to make me feel better or something on the other hand uh my uh my adventure is now sitting at 42 sales and if i get 51 then i will get a little bronze medal uh Ooh. so like i i do want those additional nine people to buy my to buy my thing um yeah and i think that's i think that's a great example of that like gray area right like you would like people to purchase it however like there's there's that rub like well like now i have to like place like this concept of value on the content uh, yeah if i really or and if i really wanted right? to push it i could like you know tweet the shit out of it and i did a little bit but like i don't really feel like doing that i just don't want to um so pharmacopia yeah maybe we should cover that pharmacopia is an, like an official book that is just a list of Drugs and their effects and directions. So, so like, like like the Bevmo of yeah. drugs, but except a not a store, yeah. which is exactly what Bevmo is. So like often would you say it's a cornucopia of pharmaceuticals? Maybe, maybe. It's like so it's like your like your pharmacist will often reference it's published by an authority. Like it's not just like a list that some guy made of drugs. Um, although I guess you could oh say God. some authorities are like that, but <laughs> um, the uh, the department they listed some guy made of drugs. Yep, the department that uh, they got some uh, Kimbo uh, Kush, alcohol, and some purple punch, and then the descriptions of the preparations are called monographs. I also discovered Ooh. that sounds like a thing that I knew. Anyway, the conversations I have with my pharmacist. The, the labeling of uh, beer is uh, overseen by the department of the ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, which I guess makes sense. Now, um, In the States? Yeah. Sorry, Gary's yeah. house is falling down, apparently. Yeah, maybe we should just sign off. <laughs> no, we're fine. Stand by my <laughs> promise. I got to bail. It's giving me palpable anxiety. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, well, no, it's just like the, the I can feel it in the floor mm. in the thunder, which is, which is an experience. Um, uh, yeah, so like they, there's like a, a person that oversees like labeling. So when you see like weird labels and you're like, oh, how did, like that seems a little uh, uh, untoward or whatever. Like there was probably something worse that was was in front of this person that approves or disapproves like label labeling and naming of uh, beers. I always wanted to be the person that came up with like names for paint swatches or nail polishes. But... Oh yeah, yes. You're talking about the, the 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 goofy names of of actual uh, beverages. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit. Polygamy Porter was a big deal when uh, during the Olympics. Mm. Yeah, know. and so that's one like yeah 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 I could see that and like um, but there's some states ATF have actually like, no that seems fine. There's some states yeah. have actually banned Polygamy Porter because of the uh, the art that is on the label which depicts uh, multiple semi-clad women with a single man uh, in a sort of like Renaissance style, like artistic styles or like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's a local, local Utah original. Utah has a, a surprising number of, of micro, I guess they're microbreweries, small. Craft. Yeah. Craft breweries is the language of the industry. But that is like a huge like the definition of a craft brewery is pretty much like whatever Sam Adams brews is the cap. And then everything underneath that. Everything under um, Sam Adams, yeah. 
this is considered crap. I mean, seriously, like I, I say that with like not a hint of sarcasm. That's pretty much how they adjust it every year. Um, Sam Adams has, has really uh, uh, been a fascinating force in the industry. I don't know if they like. I don't know if they're losing some of that just because there's so many craft breweries now. But um, but certainly for a lot of years, like like when there was a hop shortage a few years back, like Sam Adams had all sorts of options they had purchased and 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 at you know at their volume like much lower cost and they they passed along options to small small craft breweries at, at their cost um, so they could continue brewing beer. So I mean like you know pretty pretty fascinating. Uh, company that has gotten really large. Should have bought some Sam Adams a couple of years ago if you were going to buy stock a couple of years ago. Nope. I'm holding Sam now. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding Sam? It didn't come out the way I meant it to. <laughs> not, quite, not quite what I was intending, but it's fine. I'm sure we, we don't have any... our questions. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure we don't have any listener Run questions. Run out of topics and questions. What's that? I said, I have no more questions, Your Honor. Well, yeah, we rest. Um, I guess the question I have is like, this uh, This time, I think when we started, we thought it was going to be weird. And uh, I think it would be hard to argue that this wasn't weird, but was it weird in the way you expect it to be weird on a Monday as opposed to a Thursday yeah. or Friday? Yeah. It was? Well, for it's in the afternoon for me, so yeah. that's different. yes. Um, it's weird like, that it's a, it's a Monday for me. Yeah, like, yeah. Like my brain is in a totally different place. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm confused. <laughs> I mean, but I'm generally confused, so this is not no big hardship. It's just just a yeah. lot. I didn't see, I didn't find it very different at all. Like, I feel like once we got started, like I fell right in and then I had tons maybe of distractions, less, but hello. Maybe you're a bit more on the fly. Maybe you're just like. <laughs> Gary is more zen. A chaotic being. I don't think that's true at all. Oh man. Um, we, we, we went to Jacksonville uh, to see my parents. Obviously I covered that, the house and the uh, card. Um, and uh, so we, there's like this terrible route from here where you have to hop like through Columbia, South Carolina and you get on Interstate 26, which is like a two lane road. And it's like, it's an interstate, but it's like the fakest of interstates. Like it's like coming apart. And then you get on 95 and the only, I don't know, like that stretch of 95 is also two lanes. And then you get to Georgia and it's three lanes and everybody moves. But in South Carolina, it's like, you're doing 75 and then you're doing like 25. And you're doing 75 and 25. And it's scary. Like I, I've gotten on the brakes so many times where I'm like, Oh my gosh, the person behind me is not paying attention. Like this is, we're going to pile up out here. And it's yeah, legitimately frightening. So I found this route that goes down like, straight out of Columbia, almost directly south of Columbia to like the Georgia, South Carolina border on a road, uh, State Road 321. And I'm like, all right, well, we're stopping at a rest area before then, getting gas before then. We're going to take that whole 110 miles, about two hours. Um, holy cow. It was super relaxing and easy, but that area is like, just heartbreaking, like how much they're. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Stitcher. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.